This is Ken Heaston from Joplin, Missouri, and in this video we're going to go over some hardware and some software that you need to build funnels like I build and promote here. Hardware, uh, well, you need a computer. Now, uh, I personally use a laptop. I like them because they're very portable. These days they have plenty of power and functionality, and they have an integrated camera. Okay? Now, um, you will need a camera. You will be using a camera some. Uh, you can use the camera on your computer. You can buy a ca camera to go on your computer if you don't have one. And you can also use your smartphone camera. Those work really well too. You're going to need a USB headset with a noise canceling mic. And you're going to need to be able to get on the internet. Okay? Now let's talk about the software a little bit. Now, almost all this software is already on a PC computer. If you have Apple, I'm sure you know what's on your computer. Um, a lot of people, though, don't know everything that's on a PC, so I'll go over this for you. Um, there's actually software on your computer for your camera. <clears throat> there is um, Windows Movie Maker on your computer and actually I bought a new computer just recently that I had to actually go download this from uh, Microsoft it's free and uh, it prompted me to do it but if you don't find it on your computer that's the deal you'll have to just uh, enter it as a search uh, on your computer and it'll prompt you to go download uh, the package uh, you're going to need some screen capture software and I will recommend a couple of free ones there are also paid ones if you have the money to pop a little cash on it the paid screen capture software options are better they're they're more functional and as you uh, get more professional with your screen capture you may want to use that the free screen capture uh, works great for me there is one drawback however it um when you go download it off the internet uh i have to turn off my um my uh uh web root um software uh viral software to be able to download it and it i just had a new computer the other day i put it on and i mean i got a ton of trash with it I was able to turn WebRoot back on and it took all the trash right back off but in times past before I had WebRoot uh, I actually had to take my computer and pay $65 to get it all cleaned up so just be aware of that if you can deal with it fine if you can't well you might want to pay for some screen capture software that will work a little better for you um, by the way WebRoot uh, McAfee and Norton what I found is they just won't catch these uh, this adware uh, malware and um, and viruses that come in with uh, some of these uh, free softwares they won't shut them down and they won't get rid of them but WebRoot I bought at Best Buy and it did a great job I love WebRoot so it saved me uh, quite a bit of money right off the bat also I use paint which is on your uh, PC and then you're probably going to want to do some image editing now I actually have some software that's a premium software that I bought to do that with but uh, you can go online and do free image editing online all you got to do is Google it and there are lots of places to go and that image editing software works really good so let me start off here now I'm going to go into my computer here and I'm going to show you how to find this stuff and how to set it up okay so let's go um, let's start off by uh, going over here you're going to go into your um, uh, back of the house and you're going to search for some things so we'll go up here to search and uh, we'll search for a uh, camera okay right there it is alright that brings it up okay um, now um, let's see uh, when you go to camera let's try doing that again um, when you go over to your camera whoop, got to put it in right Let's see if I can get my okay right here you can right click on this and um, I've got it pinned but I it'll say pin to taskbar and you want to do that what happens is uh, when you do that it will bring it right down here 
and we'll be using it quite a bit so you can pin all of these softwares to your taskbar to use them quickly. Uh, here is Movie Maker and uh, our other one is Paint. Here is Paint. I've uh, attached them all to my uh, taskbar and so you search for these other softwares just the same way. Put on Movie Maker, Camera, and Paint. Okay, you do all those. Now, <clears throat> I'll just show you briefly how camera works on my laptop here um, and what we're going to do is we'll uh, bring it up and that's me and uh, now if you're uh, making a camera video I usually don't use my headset I just have it on now because I'm on screen capture but um, you know I just talk into the microphone on my laptop without a headset and make my videos on camera like that and those you'll use for maybe your whole video or maybe just a portion of your video I'll show you how to do that but uh, at any rate that's camera now um, that turns the camera on okay now we're actually recording we're making a recording on the camera and that turns the camera off okay so now we go here and we'll exit and you want to know where that went it's a little tricky. Um, go over here to uh, pictures, camera roll, and there I am right there. That's where the file went. Uh, every time you turn your camera on and off, it'll save a file right here under pictures and camera roll. Okay. Now the next thing we want to be able to do is edit that uh, video. So for that, we're going to use Movie Maker, and uh, we'll bring it up. Uh, we're going to click here and go find a video that we want to use and uh, we'll come over here and we'll find that okay and it's under pictures camera roll we will double click it and bring it right in now what this does is that uh, uh, that's a little short video and it did it real quick but if it's a long one it'll just take longer and it it actually um, changes the file to fit it to work in Movie Maker and it will um, uh, load your audio so some videos can take quite a while but the nice thing about Movie Maker is I've been able to shoot movies uh, on my camera on screen capture and on my phone bring the files into Movie Maker and edit them right here it handles them all really good and then you're going to output with an mp4 which is uh, loadable to any place that you want to go so uh, right here you can play the video I won't do that so you won't have to deal with so much noise but at any rate what happens is um, you're going to want to edit your videos and uh, I usually shoot my videos in short clips and edit them as short clips and then put them all together into one longer video so let's say that you want to uh, you know take the first part of this off where you're just kind of uh, getting ready you're doing your testing testing one two three and all that stuff you uh, turn your video on and just when it you know you get to the spot that you want to start you go here to edit set start point and now your your start point of your video is where you edit now if you mess it up uh, don't worry uh, you can go right here and you can undo okay now if you really mess it up don't worry you can just bring the raw file back in under a new project and start all over okay so once you get your uh, movie the way you want it trim it out the way you want it then you're going to file save movie recommended for this project bam and it's going to bring up um, a, a file you, you here's where you select a file you're going to create a folder whatever you want to do so you know where this is but uh, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll shoot several segments trim them up so they're all nice and neat and I'll put them in a file and when I get them all in there the way I want them then I open Movie Maker go into that file bring them in in succession uh, the way I want the movie to go and put them in one right after another and make a completed file that's the whole video in the same folder so that's the way you use Movie Maker, real handy little device. And w once you get uh, your uh, movie edited and saved in MP4 format, you can just close this out. Don't worry about saving the movie. You've got it in MP4. You're good to go. Okay, the last one I want to show you here is Paint. Um, that's on your computer anyway. 
paint is real handy because uh, you can quickly edit um, pictures uh, just uh, right on your computer real fast and it's free software right on your computer so you can uh, I've actually included a whole nother video that shows in more detail how to do this but you can just bring a picture right in and let's say it's that size right there uh, if that's a little bit too big for you just click on pixels and just change it we'll bring it down to a thousand and since we've got maintain aspect ratio checked it's going to keep it uh, the same uh, dimensions uh, and we'll click OK and now we've reduced that that down and uh, if we want to uh, edit it some more let's say we want to make it more the size that goes on Facebook we uh, we say select rectangular selection crop out something that's just about like would fit on a Facebook page real nice crop okay we're getting pretty close and now all we have to do is go back in and resize it to the Facebook size that we use and I like 700 by oh that was within one pixel <laughs> 366 so as you can see once you get used to cropping out ones that are uh, fit on Facebook you'll get pretty good at it so anyway now you've uh, got that you just simply file save as put it wherever you want it and uh, you'll uh, just name your file and save it and it's ready to upload right onto Facebook so you can quickly make uh, images now if you want to edit that image you're going to have to use some edit image editing software paint doesn't do real good at putting a uh, text on there but you can go online and get some good image editing software and uh, learn how to do that now uh, the last software that I want to show you on this video is the screen capture software now this is another place where webroot my virus protection and and firewall said no no this is a very bad site uh, but it, as you can see it's still uh, it's still involved up here in the URL <laughs> so use your own discretion on how you handle this I have used this software and I really like it a lot this this is actually more than just screen capture you know it's screen capture video editing a converter tool uh, web page designer and it really just I mean it's a really complete tool it's built by Dave Gwendon who is a uh, software designer that I really like I buy a lot of Dave's products because he just really does some neat stuff but he offers this for free and so it is a screencapstudio.com you can go over there and get that and uh, all the instructions are with it it really works great uh, this is a, a real fast and easy little one called cam studio it's at camstudio.org I use this one and I'm using it right now actually and uh, it's the same way you know if you download this free software you're gonna have to put up with a little guff and be ready to clean your computer up but if you use webroot or something that good why well, it's not a problem you can clean it right up and um, you can get this software and use it I found it to be a little flaky to learn originally but once I kinda got a handle on it uh, it really works good and it's lightweight and it's simple it's easy it, I really like the way it works and there is a pretty good little instructional video there uh, when you download it that you can get and it'll teach you just what to do so that's another free software that that I use a lot and uh, so so what we've covered here uh, you're going to have the hardware and the software to uh, make video make images uh, you can make uh, camera videos you can make screen capture videos and you can make videos on your phone and completely edit them and get them ready to use in your posts uh, your uh, your entire funnel images and videos uh, all those you'll need so that is this part of the course the hardware and the software I'll show you more about how to use these things but at least you, now you know what you need this is part of a uh, a course on uh, generating leads uh, for your um, network marketing or direct sales business uh, by using online methods and uh, just to recap I uh, created this course uh, for my downline group but I decided to offer it to network marketing and direct sales professionals in general because 
so many of them aren't getting the help they need from their upline to be able to take their business online and brand themselves as professionals and so that's what this course is all about so if you're getting in on this video on YouTube uh, you'll find a link in the description to go to the uh, intro video and the course is free on my blog if you're already on my blog um, you'll see a, an article right below this video and uh, also a link back to the intro page which has all the links to uh, all the uh, videos in this course and articles so um, you can uh, get in there and uh, pick out the parts that uh, are holding you up and get going with your business. Um, also, uh, if you uh, like the Facebook page by using the uh, the uh, button at the top or uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll be able to keep up with um, new content that goes on here, which will be going on here all the time. And, uh, of course, you can share uh, with the buttons, the share buttons on the uh, blog. Uh, if you want to share this with friends, it's just fine. Uh, I, I opened this up for free. I want to really help all network marketers be able to um, learn how to promote themselves online much better. So I hope you enjoyed this video and use the links, use the article, and replay this video all you like. Uh, wish you best in your business.